Are you lacking a chemical compound that's hyperelastic and rubbery? Ladies and gentlemen, we have just the thing for you. I present rubber. There are two main types of rubber, natural rubber and synthetic rubber. Natural rubber, also known as India rubber, has a chemical compound, chemical formula of C5H8, carbon and hydrogen. The chemical structure includes a methyl group, two ethylenes, which are double bonded to carbons in the middle, and a single bond to hydrogen. This is an organic compound because it is carbon-based and is found in nature. Next, we have synthetic rubber, also known as butadiene rubber, chemical formula of C4H6. The structure includes two ethylenes, two hydrogens, and two carbons right in the middle, and it is not carbon-based, so it is inorganic. Over here, I have a small sentence about the structure. It's a little bit confusing. Let me explain. Synthetic rubber, I'm going to use this as an example, in, let's say, a car tire, this structure will be bonded together to itself multiple times over to create a superstructure which will end up being uh, the rubber in the tire. And both are covalent. Both natural rubber and synthetic rubber share a lot of the same properties because they are both very similar compounds, uh, except synthetic is a little bit stronger because it's been made by humans and altered to fit our taste. Uh, some physical properties of natural rubber are intense elongation, which is the hyperelasticity that I talked about earlier, abrasion resistance, good tear strength, and good compression. The synthetic physical properties include good abrasion resistance, elongation, low temperature flexibility, the tear resistance is good, and it also has good tensile strength. Now, the chemical properties are not so much properties as they are uh, the problems with rubber, which is very temperature. So having higher temperatures, like very, very high temperatures, will cause the rubber to tear very easily, like if you were to tear a piece of gum in half. And low temperatures will cause the uh, rubber to shatter if you're trying to break it like glass. And then, of course, we have the most important property. Put it in your brain. Both are very rubbery. That is the best thing, top, hands down, that is rubbery. If, that's, if there is that's one it. thing that you have to take away from this video, commercial, whatever you want to call it, it's that they're both rubbery. Learn it, repeat it, know it, you got it. Retweet it. Rubber starts off in the Hevia brasiliensis tree, which does not look like this at all, because I'm obviously not a good artist. It's a uh, taller tree with less branches, and what they do is they uh, scrape off part of the bark, and the uh, white liquid latex will flow from the tree, and that is what they use to create uh, normal sheets of rubber through a uh, long process of um, heading down and applying other chemicals to it, which will then be sent to separate factories, which will be designed to create certain things, such as... The many uses include pencil grips, chew toys for dogs, and of course, as you all know, tires. Whip. Ayy. Hey Bill, wanna go take my Lambo for a spin? Of course. Let's do this. Uses. Rubber gave people the ability to write more comfortably, uh, an entertainment option to dogs, and to us humans, a way of transportation. And I think that transportation was a big thing because having rubber tires, which help grip the road better, uh, help kept us safe, and it was something that wouldn't wear so easily. So uh, all these things definitely uh, impacted human history. Maybe not the pencil grips and the dog toys as much, but the tires, obviously, we still have those today. We might have those for a while. Order your sheets of rubber now, and don't wait, because there's a good offer going on. You get one for the price of two. Do not wait. This is the best offer.